Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I've put out a video and when I set out to film this video I thought it would come with some great voiceover with eloquent metaphors about life and the garden and I wanted to make some beautiful masterpiece that would crack the code to my film and editing style and social media and content producing often feels like that. Like there's some secret code to hunt down and solve and people even try to make money selling you the answer. Like it's the new age miracle potion that cures everything. The reality of life this year lies within the video itself though. I filmed this on August 12th and as I record this video, this voiceover, it is October 21st. Life has been busy this year and there are no eloquent metaphors to go with the truth that I feel like I've been barely keeping up. And while I had big dreams when I started this video, as I started tearing out the garden, I realized quickly that I didn't have time to keep moving the camera around to get all of the wonderful shots to accompany whatever I thought this voiceover would become. And instead, I ended up just gathering a selection of wide shots of me doing all of the work that it takes to tear out the garden and reset it for fall. There are over four dozen jars of pickles and relish sitting in my pantry right now because I barely had time to get out to the garden to harvest the cucumbers and rarely was I out there soon enough where they were still tender enough for fresh eating. So instead they mostly got canned in an attempt not to waste the harvest and some of them got juiced and some of them got turned into ice cubes and that's just the way that it went. The garden story this year is one filled with absolute success and inadequate time to properly tend to it. The beauty of plants, though, is that they want to grow, and so they didn't really need me. While my help would have been uh, appreciated by many of them that struggled, uh, others continued to flourish without much assistance from me. And I didn't get to embrace the bounty of the garden this year and enjoy it the way that I had hoped. While there was great bounty in some areas, I had my best bean and cucumber year I've ever had. My tomatoes did great and my peppers flourished. There were also some areas of struggle. My potatoes still didn't produce much. And maybe someday I'll figure out the secret code to making potatoes while I work to figure out the secret code to my editing and filming style. My summer squash got completely destroyed by vine borer and any attempt to sow new plants followed the same path. I didn't get my okra planted soon enough for it to really take off, etc, etc. And maybe that's the great metaphor of all of this. I don't know. What I do know is that I loved this garden and I wish I had had more time to spend in it. I wish I had had more time to share it with you and instead you're watching me tear it out so that I can get our fall garden planted two months after I did all of that work. And that's okay. Life is busy this year, and I am committed to not romanticizing my life for likes and views. I think enough people do that already, and I absolutely could have chosen to keep this video hidden and never shared, and no one but me would know the great intentions I had for it that absolutely fell flat. Instead, maybe on my teeny tiny corner of the internet, I can be a voice saying, hey, this is a lot of work, and I got really busy, and I had all sorts of great ideas for 2022, when it started and 2022 had other ideas. <laughs> and I hope that when you share this part of the internet with me, you know that I'm not here trying to tell you that gardening is the best way you can live your life or that making food, food from scratch is the only way that you should feed your family or that any of this is even remotely easy or superior to other ways of living. I love gardening. I love making food from scratch and those things are important to me and I adore them. But I recognize that they're not for everybody and I think life is better when we don't try and constantly convince everyone to come to our side or make our lives look shinier and prettier than they actually are. And I've been having this conversation with my friends a lot lately that the internet has this way of making things look easy and romantic and it does not at all have a healthy relationship with what life actually looks like. 
I'm not immune to wanting to make beautiful things, but I also don't want to lie to achieve an aesthetic. Last year, the garden was a relaxing place for me to sit and breathe and to tend. This year, the garden looked a lot more like taking one deep breath and then working as fast as I could in the amount of time that I had. And I am grateful for its bounty despite all of that and simultaneously sad for my lack of time to fully embrace it. But when I set out in 2022 with my dreams for this garden and this year, I did not at all plan for a dear friend of mine to go through a major life-changing thing and for my grandma to need two surgeries and to travel to Iowa twice to help her and be with her and for my partner to be on overtime basically the entire year. And that's okay. (laughs) This year was crazy and we've made it and I am two months late in sharing this video and it is not at all what I thought it would be. But if you've made it this far, thank you for being here and watching. I still have all sorts of hopes and dreams for things that I want to share with you all. And I'm hopeful that life will calm down just long enough for me to figure out how to do that. In the meantime, here's the rest of me resetting the garden for fall, which is currently under frost fabric as our first cold nights have arrived here in Tennessee. I hope the rest of your year is wonderful and joyful and filled with rest and ease if I don't see you again. And if I do see you again, I hope that we can share in that together.